Hey everyone, welcome back to more Fatal Frame 3. Eee, so exciting. We are finally gonna play Spay again, so I'm super excited for that. We can do probably shit ton of upgrades for our camera. We have some reading we need to catch up on, so we'll start with that. Let's go. So we have 40k, almost 40k. Um, let's do the expensive one first, see what we have after that. Oh, that's 40k, the next one. Whew. Okay, 20k for that one. I have 8k left. Uh, I can't do anything with that. Okay. Well, that's good. And then our notebook. We have a couple things. Skewer dolls. Inside the manor in a courtyard surrounded by a corridor was a tree wrapped with sacred rope. Around it stood straw dolls skewered on stakes. According to an old book on folklore, the practice belongs to an old folk cult. The dolls stood a at a border between the mountains, the vine, and the village, human, functioning as protective deities or amulets. What is there in that courtyard behind that door? Oh, that's what that means. So this is the border, that tree, and that courtyard is like the border until you move further into the manor, to the divine. Awesome. Found a Buddha image similar to the one on the bloodstained altar in an old book of folklore. Oh, the one where the needle ladies are. The book suggested the image was a kind of memorial used for offering life sacrifices. Is the image in the book the same as the one in the house? What hap What was happening in there? Minakami. The man who appeared in the photo is Masumi Maru Ma uh, Makimura, who went missing three months ago near the Minakami dance site. His fiance went to look for him and never came back. Many people have gone missing like this in the Minakami area, and there are rumors that they have been spirited away. Tattoo bruise. Every time I dream of the house that bruise the tattoo gets bigger. Found a picture of a similar tattoo in a book of folklore. Snake and Holly. Oh yeah. According to an old folktale, the tattoo represents the pain, Holly, and longing of a girl whose lover has died. Like my longing for you. According to a book Mika found for me, the lullaby sounds like a song called The Sleeping Shrine Maiden from northeastern Japan. Empty house I visited on that job assignment was in the same part of the country, off the map deep in the hills. Oh, the book suggests the song might be a folk corruption of an old religious ritual. Ceremony to do with sleep, could it be connected to my dreams? And K. Yu's friend who's researching the manner of sleep, he promised to come visit when I told him Yu was dead. Maybe by working together with him I can find a way to escape the manor. Oh, there's another one. Carpenters. Ragged white robes, tall court hats. In an old newspaper I found in the used room was an article about shrine carpenters who had gone missing. About the same number as in the photo. Ah. I see. Well, that was that. Our business has been attended to. Now we're gonna see if we can leave. <laughs> and we wake up. <laughs> Why is that black and white, I wonder? Oh. Shit. Oh, are you gonna keep- oh, no, she's gone. Do you think the girl on the other side is gonna be there too? Oh, right, because last time we played as day, we were about to open that door, weren't we? We fought all the carpenters. She's not here. Oh, I can't even go there! Ooh, interesting. We're on a set path. So now we can go through. And we're back. Oh, fuck! Oh, she still got me. Bastard. Nope. Turn around. Oh. Okay. Got him! Holy shit, little bitch! Image of something has been caught in the photo. I know where that is. Yep. Matatarin. Don't give a shit. 
Oh, my save point. Well, actually, I'll just do this. Here. I saved with the uh, emulator. Uh, so they want us to go there. The question is, how does one get there? This fucking maze of a place. It's down here. Yeah. So straight down this corridor. Okay. Got it, got it. So I wonder that the little black and white flash forward was like... Us seeing the priestess heading into the back. And now we're about to do the same. Trying to see if there's new items or something. Nope. Okay. I give up. What is it? Whoa! Something fell down! Oh! Behind me! Behind me! Oh my god! She wasn't moving! Oh, I move. Okay, I can move again. She was just stuck. <laughs> okay. Take that. Nice. Gosh, she's strong. Okay, let's go. Today is not to be trifled with. This way? <laughs> Sometimes there's an item back here. That's why I always take this route. But not this time. So this is where we had to be, right? Oh shit. Oh. This'll end it. I will sleep here. Did he kill himself in there? On part of the wall there is a mark that looks like a filled seam. Part of the cock filling the seam is peeled away. Looks like you can- you might be able to open it. Oh! There he is! Oh my god, he's right here. Oh, that was... Okay. Oh god, he's still in here? Do I just like... Go here? What is this? Oh! Our, oh, it's his tools and everything! Hidden storage space under the floor is full of old carpentry tools. They look as though they were well used at one time. Maybe they were used to build this house. Inside a box full of strangely shaped carpentry tools is a piece of paper that looks like an old map. Map with Mark. When the Shrine of the Rift fails to stop destruction, build the Shrine of Sleep and pray for the priestess to slumber. To keep the Rift from opening into the outside world, the final command must be driven in where the Shrine of the Rift and the Shrine of Sleep connect. Okay. What could be in the area shown on the map, I wonder? Camera part switch. What's that? You can equip up to three upgraded lenses at one time. Ah, change them. With L2, R2. Oh. That's a weird button for it. He's just chilling. So what was the map marking? Do we have it? I have no idea. It didn't show us the map. Hmm. Um... Ah. So now we can switch between those. I'm just gonna leave, okay, dude? Don't worry about me. Oh. 
They actually let me leave. The fuck? Didn't expect that. So that fixed some kind of seal? And that must have been the seal on that door in the back, right? That we already... We... We... Um, we fought the carpenters before, but not the head carpenter. The master carpenter that we just fought. So... Hopefully now we can just... Finally go through those doors. Oh, there he is again. You want to fight again? Oh! Ho ho! Fuck. Yeah, take that. He's still coming. Shirang Shiran Gatarin. There's not enough of something, but I don't know what he's saying. Is there anything there? No. What is it? What does he say in English? Does anyone know what he says when you defeat him? And then we should be finally able to go here. You wanna go in? Oh, flash forward? Do we have a camera? Okay. <laughs> Just checking, you know? Who are those? Oh, it's the needle ladies. Oh, and she's there. Should we go there first, then? I guess not. Nope. <laughs> no! <laughs> that was so short! <sighs> Finally got to play as her again, and then this happens. <sighs> oh, leg time? Oh, shit! Ooh, it's progressing fast. Dream Mansion. Uh, I'll read that in a bit. Need to get the phone. It might be K. Hello? Hi, Kurosawa desu Miku? Let me out. Hmm. Daste or daste. Oh. Excuse me, what? Ah, oh, it's gay. Do you have that dream again today? Yeah, I see. I think we should go check out that abandoned house one more time. We might be able to find something. I'll look. Turn your audio all the way up. You can't get out. Help me. I found you. 
She's either saying give give it back or let me out. Okay, she's repeating now. Volume goes way back down. <laughs> um, I'll look over the local legends and stories and bring what I have with me. Just what happened in that manner. Books describe it as an engraving shrine. Maybe if we combine the information we have, something might come to light. It's so creepy. Ugh. Those whispers are like one of my favorite things. When I discovered those the first time, I was like, holy shit. They are only in the Japanese version, I think. Should we just go back to bed? I kind of want to. I should do a quick run through of the house, though. Nothing here. Oh, kitty sleeping. Oh. Blood. Yes. I got her. Creepy. Now it's gone. I can see my face reflected in the mirror above the wash basin. I lost a little weight again. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Anything else here? Just some textures that are fucking up. Oh, that was worth it. That was cool to see. Oh, it's another desk. Oh, she found something. I thought this festival was similar to the ceremony-like photo with the twins. Some of the villages in the mountain region practice a folk religion rite that deifies twins born in the village as priestesses. It is called the Twins Ceremony. When twins born in the village reach a certain age, most commonly 15, they are dressed in white. Then as priestesses they are joined by a red cord and conduct a seance. This red cord is said to represent the twins as one person, and in the region it is custom to believe that when the twins become one, they have the power of the gods. This rite is supposed to protect the village from calamity, and it is also supposed to bless them with a bountiful harvest. Hmm. Twin deification. Okay. Just rain again. I wonder why the audio does that sometimes. Hmm. Well. That was that. We've had some creepy shit happening. Huh. The little mug was having a moment. Go to sleep. Oh, we're here. Are we going to go deeper finally? Ah, oh, we're okay again. Are we still dying or... Oh, hour 10? That was a short fucking... That was 20 minutes, that chapter. Ken, baby, how's your health? Oh, we got full health back. Thank you very much. Did we start with... Three meds as well. Oh, thank God. Okay. Good. Now, where am I? Now, why did we start here? This is where we escaped, yeah. The butterfly sent us this way. Let's see if there's anything. We saw. Oh! Ah! I think I got her. Nope. Yes! Counted. Okay. I was gonna say, I think I saw her in the premonition, so I'll keep going. Hi. 
nice. What? What? Was he taking a moment? There she is. Oh, she didn't notice me. Nice. Oh. The kimonos are different now. I think I have to go fight her though, because... I think we need information. I'm so sorry, I have to disturb you- Ah! Where is she? No. Are you coming for me? Oh yeah, she is. She oh I wish I could chain them. You said you come back. She must be confusing me with the the man's lover. Her lover, I mean, that was the man that came and got her pregnant. I think he came back for her, right? Just what we found in the files. Like, he came back for her and he wanted to escape with her, but... Ooh. But she wasn't allowed to leave, so they killed the man. Yeah, 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 because we found the camera in a drawer with blood. Oh, that was a short window that I could take her picture there. Where is she? Oh, there. I think this is the ghost we've been fighting the most. Damn it! I keep wanting to take the follow-up picture, but she disappears into the wall. I almost got it. Damn it! You're making me waste so much film! Ah. Oh. Can't, I can't see that. Right in the stomach. I can't even tell how much health she has or how much progress I'm making. Oh shit. There we go. Ah! There was something from her. <gasps> the Anthus key. I think I know where that was. It's so sad when you then finally kill her. She's like, oh, you came. Still waiting. I think it's for this door. Yep. 
Nice. This tiny little room. What is it? It's a well under the floor. She's standing by it. Oh, and another stone mirror. Wow. That's it? This is where they threw babies in? Oh, ooh, that's dark. Any boys that they didn't want, maybe? <sighs> that didn't really help us, though, but I guess... We should try to check here and see if we can go deeper into the manor. Maybe? Because we're all heading in the same direction, I think. We all have the same goal. Oh god! Did I get her? I did. Ugh. She's everywhere. Ghost lady. So much recording lately, my watch be keeps being like, you should walk around more. Is it time? What is this? The air is so heavy. Oh no. This is gonna suck. It's like some sort of miasma. I can feel something odd in the air around me. That which lies sealed within the manor of sleep. That which lies on the other side of the rift. What could possibly be inside here? I gotta do something about this miasma. Purifying light has been added to files. Um, purifying light. I think it's here. Purifying light. When your condition becomes miasmatic, when the color becomes monochrome, even more dangerous ghosts will be attracted to you. If you can get the purifying light, your condition will return to normal while it is lit. If you can find the purifying light scatter scattered about the matter, you can replenish your light. However, you cannot stock up on it. If you go back to the real world, real world, it will be fully replenished. Okay, so we need to find those candles. And once we have a candle, we need to find another candle before... Oh. Someone on the roof. This might be a candle. Nope. Is there a candle back there? Might be. Ugh, I hate this. This is so stressful. This is what I was talking about when Kay's um, chapters just get harder and harder. He's looking at something. Oh, there. Couldn't even see it. <gasps> no, fuck! That was for a day and I accidentally picked it up. Shit. Ugh, fuck it sucks. Hopefully we can find a candle in here. Thick bar holds the door to the storehouse like building closed. Can you take it? Okay, cool. Oh god, we need to hurry. We need to find something. We need to find the candle. Is it? Ooh. Someone got trampled here. Or like buried under the rubble. Ah. Oh, I could have gotten her. Damn it. Oh, she leave a candle for me? No. But cool, thanks. 
That definitely will help. You can barely see in this black and white. Oh, that's the door. Where am I? What the fu- Oh! Holy shit, we're in the Osaka house! Oh god, wait, how the fuck is this connected? Oh. Oh my god, okay. This is the Osaka house, yeah. Um, do I need to go up then? Yeah. I need a candle though. Oh, maybe she's gonna lead me to a candle. Hello? Thanks for the points, but uh, I need a candle. Candle, candle, candle. It's all I can think of now because I'm stressed and I don't want to be in this. Mm, where is she? Oh my god, it's her! Holy shit! Oh my god! Go, go, go! Holy fuck! That was the closest brush with death I have ever had. <laughs> okay, I'm out. I'm here. Leave that room. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I... Dudes, I don't care. I need a candle. I've seen you guys here before. Okay? We've done the dance. Oh, hey dude. You weren't here before. <sighs> okay, puzzle. Yes. Okay. Um... I don't need green. I need two reds. And a blue. Okay. Like that, I think. Where are we hearing that? Where is it coming from? Up here? Oh god! Fuck off! Fuck off! Nope. Oh. Oh, there she is. Oh, I got something. An itchy eyeball is what I got. Okay. I think there's a candle here. Yes! Light it! Yes! Color, please. Oh, thank god. No! Why do you keep picking it up? Fuck! I really wish I could tell. <sighs> it's always me as Kay who picks up all the fucking film. Okay. That must be Kaname. I can see the roof of a shrine-like building on the other side. It's a little far, but if I don't think about the height, I could probably jump it. I'll go for it. Damn, dude. Mega jump. Okay, nothing there. <laughs> I feel like if it was Song of Horror... What, how am I supposed to- she was standing down there. I can't- I can't take a picture of that. If this was like Song of Horror, that jump would have killed him. And then the game would have been like, should have been more careful. <laughs> I like that game though, don't get me wrong. I really like Song of Horror. Hmm. 
Maybe I should just not pick up items as him anymore. I looked into the drawers, but all the medicine or whatever it is has gone rotten and turned black. Reel of film. Oh, abyss. Actually, I should hurry. <gasps> no! Dude! Fucking why? Ah, oh, I fucking hate it. I fucking hate it. That's it. I'm not gonna pick up anything anymore as him. Not gonna do it. Can I take a picture of whatever is down there? Hey, Beavis. Oh, candle's going. I think she said something like, it's time for her to cross over. <sighs> I'm not gonna pick it up. Dude does not need more 90 film. is empty now. Seal on the door. Shit. On the spine is written piercing of the soul. If the feelings of loss for those who cross to the other side begin to spill into dreams, they shall bring, bring great trouble into this world. Those feelings of loss must be etched into the priestess as tattoos in the piercing of the soul. The tattooed priestess who has been engraved with the pain shall then bear that pain into her sleep and calm the troubles of this world. Yee. The altar is arranged with braziers and other equipment used in esoteric Buddhist rituals. In the center lays a pedestal meant to hold a round plate of some sort. A small engraving is on it. Offer of the mirror etched with the holly of the priestess. Perhaps you can fit something in this pedestal. Yeah, jeez. Ooh, run, 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 run. Fuck it. Nah, shit, I knew it. No, keep your needles away from me. Oh, God. Oops, that was a waste. Okay. I think she's gonna be behind me. Nope, nope, nope. I miscalculated. Gotta keep moving. Okay. They are fucking strong. I photographed them with 90 film. I thought they'd be fucking dead. Oh my god. Ah, oh, and the candle. Ah, oh. stress. Stress, 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 stress. I don't have time for this. I need to find a new candle. Oh. Okay, I got one. Ooh. 
Okay. She's not dead yet. Oh, damn it. I keep thinking I can't do that, and then it completely catches me off guard. Yeah, take that. Oh. Okay. So, I, I need a candle. I need a fucking candle. Okay, the doors are open now. But where the fuck are we gonna go? What? Oh, thank god. <laughs> that was too stressful. The fucking candles, man. Holy shit. It makes the game a hundred times more stressful because you're like, okay, I wanna read everything and I wanna like go, but I also I'm racing against the clock because this candle's running out. <sighs> okay. We're safe now. A little bit, at least. <sighs> so stressful. Oh, hey, Miku. Good morning. Mmm, rain again. <laughs> she keeps saying the same things. Hmm. I guess she doesn't have any info for me right now. I'll develop these pictures and try and give them to her. What is this? Oh, it's the girl. Holding a book? Yeah. Hmm. She seems to be holding a book. And the lady by the well. The hidden well deep within the house, surrounded by sacred rope and paper. And we heard a baby. Oh, were there faces in the picture? I think there were faces in the well area. She's singing again. Oh. She's right with her. Miku, you. I'm sure he's calling to me. Miku. Day, I left Mafuyu. I left him all alone in that place. I came back by myself. I was the only one who was saved. Miku. That's what your brother wanted, though. I just want to sleep. Miku. Hmm, can't give her the pictures either. Well, I guess that does it. Let's see if this is a new chapter then. I feel like these have been really short, these two chapters. Oh, the book! Ah. Ah, I gotcha. Ah, oh, there she is again. She's so pretty. Oh, Ramiku. Right, we put the cage up. Hour 11. Hour 11? I think the woman in the cell hasn't woken up yet. Hour 11. There's only four hours left, including this one. I should be able to get to the cell if I head up to the second level. Oh god, what should I do? Okay, I'll go... I'll go a little bit longer. But then if this chapter seems to be... long, then I might... stop in the middle of this chapter. Oh, it's open! Amane, you broke the rules. 
I didn't think you'd bring that man in. An old book has been left on the writing desk. Calico. One of the handmaids led a man who came to offer his pain into the Kuze shrine, and so tattoos have been entered the priest's eyes, and the doors to the chamber of Thor's have opened. We should never have let a man enter the shrine. No matter who it was, we should never have engraved the priestess's empty eyes. Now that I have felt the pain of the holly as well, even I am not allowed outside. Before the rift that has spilled forth from the Kuze shrine spreads any further, we must find a way to shut the shrine within the rift. We must summon the shrine carpenters and seal the Kuze shrine. Many sacrificial pillars will be required. We should have cast that man away, just as we did that male scholar who wandered here. Yeah, that must have been the dad then, right? The scholar with the camera. Oh! That's him! Oh, oh, I couldn't see him. I wasn't quick enough. I'm so scared now to pick up these items because they could be film. I'm not going to pick it up. I'm going to leave it. They needs all the good film. Coming from here. Oh! Oh! Jesus. Oh, I got her! Oops. Oh! She changed her mind! Jesus. Uh, I'm not there. I'm here! Haha! -ha. She's so excited to impale. Okay. This. Oh! Did I just see that right? Mika's on a candle already as well? Shit. Uh, that's where we were. Yeah, she was holding the book. Oh no. The candle, no. We need to hurry. Oh fuck. Okay, so that girl has the book, and the book goes here. So if I can just enter the hall here. Oh god, Miku, we need to hurry. Okay. Let's go. Oh, I know a place. I know there's one candle. In the room to the left there. But I'm gonna go here. Okay. We just need to go up, right? What was that item on the right? That was meds. But maybe it's a candle this time. Nope. Shit. Okay, I wonder if... What is it? Why did I get a little meter there? I wonder if I should go this way. But oh, there's a thing in the corner there. Maybe that's a candle. No! <laughs> No! <laughs> Stop picking up valuable film! Oh wait, no, no, no. We shouldn't go up here, because we can't... We can't jump the roof, I think. I think that's only a thing Kay does. So let's go here. Oh! What's that? Okay, that's kind of nice. Oh, my candle's in trouble though. Yep. That's where we need to go. Anything there? Nope. I 
should be able to do it. I should be a candle upstairs there too. Just gotta be quick. Oh god! There's one more... I think there's one more level after this for the candle. Hey dude, what's happening? Not much? Okay, bye. There has to be a candle here somewhere. Such a cool room. She was asking for help. Is that the book? Yes! Commandment tome. Ooh. The chosen maiden is put onto the boat of passing. The boat sways as it is sent to the Kuze shrine. The living flesh is cut, the tattoos etched in. Pain of the holly shall be sealed within her. All her love shall be interred into a mirror. This she must break. Shatter herself, her attachment to this world must be broken. The piercing of the soul thus concludes. Impale her with the stake of tattoos, the rite of commandment must be conducted. Sleeping undisturbed for eternity, dreaming the endless dream at the rift, enclosed and tombed in her chamber of thorns. She shall continue to feel the pain of the holly for all time. Hmm. Ah, yes! Thank you! I got candle! Okay, um, and that's where we left jump. I'm gonna go down. We just need to go back, I think, the way we came. Put that book in place. This is the Kusabi again. It sounds like Kusabi. Oh, wait, I should go here. Oh, God! It is Kusabi. Go, go, go. Run. <laughs> okay. It is so weird in my head how these passageways connect. Because <laughs> it's messing with my knowledge from the other games. Okay. Fucking Kasabi, man. What is he doing here? He's like, well, the village I was in was flooded, so what am I gonna do? <laughs> Mika's like, I'm on a mission. I know where to go. No one can stop me. Mm, the candle's already dipping again. Ah, oh, fuck. It's okay. I know of another place. That might be a candle too, actually. If I get desperate enough, I'll try to pick up that one. Yeah, I just don't understand the logic of like when you or do we all we don't share the film right it's not like we all have a shared inventory no because they all picked up their own stone mirror as well wait oh I shouldn't have gone here oh uh, not yet wait a little bit longer good to know though there's a candle there <laughs> Put the book in here. There was a sound like that of some sort of mechanism moving from the level above. Yes. Now we go up here. I'm gonna leave the candle for a sec, because now that we have the location of a candle, we're gonna just wait until the very end to pick that up. Remember this room where I was like, nope, nope. Don't need to go in here. Yeah, now we need to be in here. Ugh. Bye. This should be unlocked now. Oh god. Oh ho ho ho! Does it open? Apparently it does! Nice. Ah, the cage, right. Okay. 
What is in this cage? Is it the mirror? What is it? Something has been sewn into a part of the kimono. The mirror of loss! Back of this old mirror has been engraved with a snake design that looks just like the tattoo. There's an old book on top of the clothes spread out on the bottom of the cell. Tattoo diary. My father, my mother, my brother, everyone has gone to the other side. I have been left all by myself. Just like that time when I couldn't go with Kaname. An escort came from the Kuze shrine. Those who know the pain of the loss of loved ones become priestesses, and by surrendering their flesh can save many people who know the same pain. But once you become a priestess and have the pain of the holly engraved into you, you can't leave the shrine. The entire village is gone. Father, mother, my brother, everyone. I am the sole survivor. There's nothing left for me. If it's decided that I can never see them again, then that means that I can sleep for all of eternity. I can save others with the same pain. Oh. 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 Oh, I still got her. That was so close. She's like, go go to the back of the shrine. No. Are we where I think we are? Yeah. We're in the room. Oh. Why? Why Amane? Oh, so they're sad that their little impalement friend did that. We're here, we're in the big room with the kimonos. I guess now that we have the mirror, we just have to get back to that big shrine again. So it's just back and forth. I never realized, or I must have known, but I completely forgot that. Those doors lead there. Ugh, so weird. Oh shit, the candle, I forgot. There might be, I think there's a candle here. Yep. That's the one I know of, that I was thinking of. Okay. Let us bring that mirror to the back. I must give that mirror to that man. What is it? Is it two of them? It's two. Hmm. I wonder what they were doing here. What is it? Wait, why is it red? Hmm. I don't know. I love how we're all doing the same thing. We must all be connected, right? Because, like, Kay opens up the shrine then for all of us. And then now Miku is the one who puts the mirror in place. And then they must be the one who will go deeper into the manor, right? I think. Oh, such a cool shot. I love it. Let's see what happens. Oh. I almost ran into her. Hey, are we gonna fight? Oh yeah, we're gonna fight. Ah, uh, wrong- ah, uh, wrong button. Fuck. Where is she? Ah, uh, fuck, I knew it. Fuck, that's gonna hurt. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god, so many arms! Holy shit! Holy shit! I don't know if I've seen that one before. Ah, oh, lady, that hurt. Let's just 
do one of these. I should have done a ton of damage. Damn it. Got it. Yes. Oh, that went well. All those arms. That was such a cool move. This is it, Miku. Let's fucking do it. Mirror business. In the center lays a pedestal. Oh yeah, we know that. Small engraving. We saw that too. You set the mirror of loss on the pedestal. There we go. There was a sound from the bamboo screen in the back. It seems the device that was holding the screen in place has been released. Ooh. Here we go. It's open now. You think this is film? I really wish we could choose not to pick it up. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it and hopefully it's useful for day. I hope. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! Damn it! Couldn't see her. That fighting was good though. That fight went a lot quicker. I think the charge is much more useful than I think it is. Okay, let's go. Ooh, these doors look serious. They mean business. I couldn't save anyone. Oh. This... This is so cool. This is like one of the best areas. You can like go over here. I don't know if I have to actually, but now I'm doing it. Is there any items? No, I shouldn't be on here. <laughs> Let's go back. Oh, look down though, it's so cool. Let's go. These stairs look like a nightmare to go down. No railing either. I'd be terrified. This in itself would be a horror for me. I think we get attacked on these. I knew it. No? The meter appeared, so I was like, oh, it's time. Oh no, down there, there's someone down below. Someone lying on the floor, that's why, what it's reacting to. Oh, did my candle run out, or was it black and white from the beginning? I'm not gonna like this, am I? We're not gonna let you go, let you get away. Nigasanai. Who is it? Is it the girl or the priestess? Oh, it's the girl. Oh, she, yeah, now I finally get it. This was her punishment. Okay, little shit's last dance. Bam! Oh, she changed her mind. Ah, fuck. They're so quick. Um, I need to just kill them off as quickly as I can.
Why does she like... She pretends to get me and then... And then just fakes out. Oh, fuck. I keep doing that. Uh, okay. I can do this. These kids ain't got nothing on me. Come here. Damn it! I wasn't in time for another picture. Oh, I'm out of... Equip this. Okay. Which one of you is gonna do it? There! I think she's dead? Fuck! Miku is giving no shits to these kids! I think I got him. You can't vanquish the Miku! <laughs> she is the fucking best! Okay. Still have a stove here, so... Whew. So this is where... Amane ended up. So... Anam Amane's punishment was impalement because she let the man in. So she ended up here, but we don't know what they did to Kaname, her brother. That is still unknown to us. There is... No. Oh. Now it's my food. So she's saying she always. Mm. So now her and Amane are aligning. Where they're like. She feels. She still feels bad that she left without him. Mafuyu. So Amane and, and Miku are aligning and they're like both being like, I just want to see my brother. I really wanted to see my brother. Um, but then it's like, you shouldn't go this way. So even Amane knew that Kaname shouldn't go this far into the shrine. But Kaname was like, well, I'm here now and I want to see um, Neika. Neika was her name, right? The priestess? <laughs> hmm. So Miku said, like, I just want to be with you together. And that was it. Fate to white, basically. Miku! Go, 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 go! Wake her up, quick! She's going too far. Ah, oh, she's awake. Miku. Hey, Eventually, someday. She's not even flinching from it. So sad. Give her a hug. But this is 
から人には見えないものが見えて兄さんだけが私を分かってくれたのに<笑>だから<笑>分かるんです私たち死ぬんです肉。<笑>いつも私に言ってくれるじゃない前向きにならなきゃダメだって<笑>自分は一人だって思わないで<笑>ありがとう。I'm glad we saw this in Japanese. It's so nice to listen to. Okay, let's catch up with Miku. I want to be where you are. The words I heard her say in her sleep must be must have come from the heart. She's calmer now, but did I really help her at all? I still don't even know what I should do about my own longing for you. Tattoo priestess. The woman who appeared in my dreams, her whole body covered in a blue tattoo. The ceremony took place inside the shrine to etch her body with the tattoo. Is it true what the old books say? That she was etched with a holly to take on people's pain and suffering? Could this nightmare be her own holly? Man named Kaname. There he is. Diary was left in the prison where the shrine maiden was kept. In it were recorded her thoughts and feelings. The name Kaname was written there. The brother's name in the diary of the girl dressed as a shrine maiden was Kaname too. Did he come to see her? Did he go inside the shrine? Shrine maiden with plaited hair who called out for Mik to Miku for help. She was hiding on the third floor of the library deep within the manor, crying and calling her brother's name. And then they found her and brought her down there to impale her as punishment. Hidden shrine. The area around the sealed shrine was full of evil air. Now that the door is open, the air has escaped and entered the manor. The seal's been broken, and there is no turning back now. Carved into the altar inside the shrine are the words, Offer up the mirror etched with the holly of the priestess. So, is it those seals that we... Oh. The seals that they has been breaking, killing the... Of, or not killing, but vanquishing the carpenters and the master carpenter. Those were the seals that were blocking those double doors heading to the inner shrine. So I wonder if that's what they mean, that like doing that has made the miasma spread further, the black, the monochrome screen stuff. And now we need the candles because we were the ones breaking the seals. Library altar. On the second floor of the read room was a library full of old books. There was one shelf with an altar on it. Something must have once been displayed there. Yeah, we know that. The commandment tome. Yep. Awesome. Do you want to do some research? <laughs> Ever since I was a child, I've been able to see things that other people can't see. My brother was the only one who understood this. Mafuyu and I went together to the Himuro mansion, that rope house. I was the only one who returned. My brother stayed behind in the mansion with that woman who had died. He said it was his fate. I also, I always loved my brother for his kindness, and so I thought his memory would stay fresh in my mind. But the memories grow fainter and fainter. Now it's all I can do just to remember him. But when I saw him in that dream, I just wanted to be with him again. If I'm just going to end up forgetting him, I want to be with Miku. No. Oh. They both have like major survivor guilt. I know what I should do. Do I have any film to develop? Might as well do a quick round of the house. What is on this? Oh. I've never, because I've never played the game in this good quality. I've never seen the, like, the latch on the window. Huh. God, Miku is the one who went the furthest now. Ah, oh, nothing to develop. Okay. Time for bed then. Save and sleep. I 
wonder if we're going to start hour 12 then now. No. She said, you, is it really okay for me to live? <laughs> that looked like Masuyu. Where are we gonna start? Oh, Miko again. Even the music. The stream again. I think she said, I don't want to have this dream anymore. I think we're going this way. Because the... yeah, this is the room that we saw. What is it? I saw the little grain, but I don't know. Oh. There are two things? What was the other thing? Hmm. Yeah, we're full on chasing Mafuyu now through the Himuro Mansion part. Oh, there's a hint there. Ah, that's what I saw. Took a picture of it already without realizing. So fun. I love those little ones. They're so quiet too. Very subtle. As long as Kirie doesn't show up, <laughs> I'll be fine. So this is what we saw in the flash for in the flash forward, yeah. Oh god. Is it one or two? I'm trying to take a picture, but it's not working. Uh, I messed up the buttons. Oh god. Oh god, this is gonna hurt. Can't see her, it's so much shit in the way. Where'd she go? Oh. Stress me out there. I hope that worked. That didn't count. Great. It's too difficult, the charge up. I want to use it, but I can't walk and use the charge up at the same time. Too early. There. Oh, okay, I did it. Such precise timings. I gotta go back. Go back and forget. But there he is! Yeah, I don't... To reality, to Ray. Yes. Can we do that? Can we change our minds? I'm not sure. I'm gonna try and leave. I don't know how we're gonna pull this off, but... Your brother made his own choice. It's what he wanted. And it really fucking sucks. But you're alive. And they cares about you. So you gotta go back. It won't open. Hmm.
I wonder what we can do then. Because I'm still on candle time as well, right? Well, I guess I guess I gotta go that way. I don't think there's anything else we can do. I tried to front door. And I am kind of curious. Oh yeah, we are on candle time. Fuck. I want to see what's on the other side of that door. Gotta go back. Gotta stop this. What? Wait, where are we gonna go then? Are we gonna go... Like, to the actual shrine? I guess I can try. Oh! Is it this thing? Ha ha ha! Cool. Oh, that face. Okay. <laughs> Again, my watch is like, y you should move! Seriously. <gasps> Oh god. Is she coming this way? We should go! Can't save anyone. Uh oh. Yeah, go check. <laughs> I love that, that she's like... Hurting from the tattoo and just running. Uh oh. <gasps> oh, creepy. She's she's sleeping. Ah, so she's just sitting by the bed, like hoping that she'll wake up. Ping pong. That must be Kay. He said he would come over. Ooh. Yeah, there he is. They finally meet. <gasps> hey. What's up? It's the So cute. Oh, he found the actual commandment tome? That looks like it. Not the one from the dream version. The real one. Lei, still no there.
<laughs> She's so done. Let me hear it. The book was left inside an old shrine not far from the manor of sleep. It seems to date from a time when the house was known as the Kuze House or the Engraving Shrine. It's not easy to read much of it now, but it has something to do with the Ceremony of Commandment. Yeah, it is the Commandment Tome. Holy shit, I recognized it. The Chosen Maiden is put onto the boat passing. The boat sways as it is sent to the Kuze Shrine. The living flesh is cut, the tattoo etched in. Pain of the holly shall be sealed within her. All her love shall be interred into a mirror. This she must break, shatter herself, her attachment to this world must be broken. Yeah, we read that. Piercing of the soul thus concludes. Impale her with the stake of tattoos, the rite of commandment must be conducted. Sleeping undisturbed for eternity, dreaming the endless dream of the rift, enclosed and tombed in her chamber of thorns. She shall continue to feel the pain of the holly for all time. This is a book written by a scholar of folklore named Akito Kashiwagi about the sleeping priestess, but the same material appears in this book as well. Legend of Song After extensive research on the Mutsu lullaby, the sleeping priestess, lyrics were discovered that appear to be even closer to the original. The following includes thoughts of how the song came about, as well as its meaning. Sleep child, lay in peace. If you cry, the boat you'll ride, the last trip to the other side. Once you get there, sacred march marks you'll bear. They shall be peeled off should you fail to lie still. The words lie in peace in this version of the song seem to connote death rather than sleep. The words sacred marks may be related to the area's legend of the tattoo master. Perhaps in the original religious song, it expressed the meaning of engraving a tattoo. Verse 2. If the priestess wakes from her dream, from her endless dream, perform the rite of stakes, her limbs pinned tight, lest the doors open wide and suffering unleashed on all. That's the one that we did with the little balls on the altar. After researching various oral traditions, there was found to remain here, there was found to remain here the vesti vestiges of spirit world faith of sending the spirits of the dead to the sea, despite the fact that it is in the mountains. This sea may signify the underworld. If the doors are taken as the doors to the other world, then lest the doors open wide and suffering unleashed on all, seems to connote that if the doors to the outer, other world open, some disaster will occur. The song may have originally related, related to a ceremony that protected the gate to the other world. The combination of elements such as the title, the sleeping priestess, the priestess waking sleep and laying to sleep, juxtaposed with the word to pin, lends the meaning of priests being aided to sleep, in other words, put to sleep. Sacrificial property can thus be read into the song. Following is a diagram found in the regional documents, combined with a legend that seems to be based on ceremony and religion. In the center of this illustration, there is a small shrine where engraving shrine is written. The part of the song about tattoo lends credence to the theory that the song may have been sung here. Deep in the engraving shrine, there is a vast sea, the underworld, and the shrine is drawn as the boundary between this shore and the other shore. Yeah, that was the impaled dolls as well. They're like the border. The lore accompanying the diagram is as follows. Break fresh skin, engrave the holly, impale the tattoo stake, subdue for eternity to sleep in the rift. Like the song lyrics, the lore can also be read as having the same human sacrifice, like aspect of impale, subdue, and sleep. Mm -hmm. Both of the books indicated that in the rite of commandment and the rite of stakes, by impaling the priestess with the tattoo stake, you subdue her for eternity. The doors could refer to the gates of the hell, and now, for some reason, they have been opened. But if we can impale the priestess's limbs with the tattoo stakes, then we may be able to put her to rest. I think the tattoo stakes are some sort of special stakes. They must be somewhere in the mansion. Impale the priestess. I remember you said that he had found a tape with his song report recorded on it. Did you happen to hear anything about it? A tape. Maybe in his room. I'll go take a look. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am gonna save here and leave it in the middle of this chapter. Because I think we're getting really close to the end. It's like one or two more. I, I don't think one. I think two more episodes, two more chapters after this. Uh, but I'm running out of time. It's been a bit, so...
I think we're close to the end, so I don't think... Um, and as long as... I, I don't like leaving it in the middle of the manor. Like... When I was playing as Miku just now, I was like, ah, just a little bit longer, you know? Uh, but now we're like in the safe world and we're going over lore, so I think this is a fine place anyway. Um, I'll be... I'll laugh very hard if we start the next episode and it's like five minutes in chapter end you know <laughs> it's probably something like that but i just want to make sure i can take my time so i'll cut it this one here and then we'll pick it up again very soon i hope you guys liked it leave a like if you did and i'll see you guys soon with another part thanks so much for watching